Uh, Tom Reed here down in my favorite place, uh, Southwest Detroit. I met this gentleman uh, down here in Southwest Detroit. Sir, what's your name? Nick. Nick. Nick, how old are you? 35. Okay. Nick, I take these videos and I upload them to a YouTube channel I have. You okay with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay. Uh, where are you from? Um, Romulus. Oh, all right. Captain yeah. Nemo subs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what brings you down to Southwest Detroit? Um, I've been down here on and off for about four years now. Uh, my ex-wife's dad lives down here, and um, you know I just like it down here. The the people and everything like that. Yeah, same way I the feel. The culture. So. Yeah, I agree. Now, uh, you working now? Uh, no, I actually found an ad on Craigslist for um, junkyard helper. Um, a guy I'm supposed to start with him on Monday, so. Okay. Go do that for now. So. What type of work you had in the past? Um, diesel mechanic, um, lots of construction, you know, roofing, different things like that. Okay. You a high school grad? Uh, GED. Okay. And any substance abuse problems? Um, yes, in the past. Got over them? Yep, yep. What's, what's the uh, word of the wise there on how to do that? Because I run into people all the time that want to but can't. Um, shit, it's just staying away from the areas and the, and the people that you used to hang with and that you thought were your friends, you know, like they say, the... You, you stay away from them type of people and them things and it's a lot easier to stay away from it so and just keeping busy and positive and things okay. like that so what was your I had cancer and I was on the pain medication and was on that for years and years and then got Is that the kind of camera no I had acute myelogenous leukemia oh, wow. yeah it was a rare type of cancer it was uh, slowly killing me I had gotten into a car accident and it flared something in my body and switched it to being able to be cured and never come back my brother was my stem cell donor and I've been in remission now for 14 years congratulations yeah. man where are you treated U of M uh, no Oakwood Maine oh, great. and then I transferred to Carmano's in Detroit beautiful man that's a great story yeah so. glad, glad to hear that your favorite childhood memory um, when I lived in Tennessee, you know, I grew up most of my childhood down there, you know, my father worked for the city, so he brought home the backhoes and tractors and all that, and, you know, I learned how to operate heavy equipment at a young age, um, we split our own wood for winter, and, you know, just went on vacations, and I'd have to say then was. Okay, a favorite movie? Um... Favorite movie, American History X. Okay. Favorite book, you a reader? <laughs> no, I'm not a reader. Okay, good. Now, I got to ask you, what's your take on this coronavirus? Um, I really don't know much about it, but yeah, it's a weird disease, you know. It's like with the bird flu and all these other different things. And, you know, sometimes I think it's the government, you yeah. know, creating these diseases for population control. Yeah, somebody you know? else said that to me yesterday when I was getting dinner. You know, that's yeah. just the only way I look at it as, because look at how much of a big outbreak it is now. And yeah. You worried about getting it at all? Not really. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> well, you got any questions for me? No, not really. Great, well, thank you. Yeah. And congratulations on beating that, man. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I feel good, so. Good, thanks again. Second chance at life. Yeah, good for you. All right, thank you. You're welcome.